Promises. Imagine we order a turkey sandwich at a restaurant. Why not stare at the cashier waiting? That might get a little awkward. A buzzer tells us when our food is ready. That buzzer is essentially a promise. Create a buzzer promise. Pass it a function known as an executor that takes two parameters, resolve and reject. Resolve is called when the order is fulfilled. It produces our sandwich as a value. Or let's say they're out of turkey, so it's rejected with an error. Promises are eager. They run when created, so when we said new promise, the executor was immediately started. This portion of the promise is called the producer. But we still need to consume our promise. Chain on a then that is called when our promise is fulfilled. Give it a function that is called with our meal whose value is whatever the resolve function was called with. Add on a catch that is called if our promise is rejected, such as there's no turkey to go on our turkey sandwich. We could then take our error, log it out to a console, and order something else. All promises return a promise automatically, and promises can also be chained together like this. Notice how the promises in the chain are resolved with the value from the previous promise. Promises provide a clean way to do something in software once a task that takes time is completed while allowing us to continue to do other operations in the meantime. Fetching data from an API is the most common example. Promises help us avoid a problem called callback hell, which can make code harder to understand. That's it now for promises, but there may be more if you await for it.